today we're treating for congested skin. We're doing a facial with a couple of electrical components with it as well, just to help clear out any blockages or congestion in the skin. Um, so she's very, very good skin. It's not acne or anything like that, but there is just a few blackheads and a little bumps under the skin. So that normally uh, suggests that she's using something heavy on her skin or um, a bit too much oil on her skin so it's sitting in her skin so she needs to check the products for mineral oil or lanolin um, and make sure any moisturizer she uses doesn't sit on her skin okay so what i'm going to do first is put the steamer on her So the reason why I do this is if you steam while you're cleansing and exfoliating, you're actually opening up the skin more and you get a much deeper cleanse. So we're going to do a double cleanse and exfoliant and then we're going to do extractions. Um, so that's going to heat up for the moment. The first product you're going to use is an exfoliating cleanser. It has a little bit of glycolic acid in it. So it helps break down any dirt on the skin. Now when you're doing a facial, you're working a lot more neck, chest and face rather than more in your chemical peel and skin needling, you're working mainly on just the face. So we're going to do the whole, the whole lot. might tingle a bit. Is that tingling a bit on your skin? Yeah. Also when I'm doing the treatment with a facial, I'm moving a lot slower on the skin to make it a lot nicer for the client. Um, you want a bit of relaxation while still helping the client's skin. Make sure you're not dripping water all over them. So I don't like to lift, keep lifting both hands. I try and move it rhythmically so that it's nice and relaxing for them.
I've already done the consultation because you don't want to do the consultation with a client on a bed and analyze their skin when you have them in for a treatment. That's a bit late. So I've already done the consultation with her. Um, so we've spoken about her skin before. Um, but what I'm just going to show you is, so you check different areas of the skin. We'll give a pinch of the skin to check dehydration lines on the skin. And you can see slight open pores. So open pores and also a bit of scarring from spots she may have picked um, and just a bit of a few breakouts but mainly it's just blocked skin along the adrenals can sometimes uh, suggest stress and um, she has been through quite a lot lately and she is on medication and that which also won't help her skin and um, there's slight fine lines her elasticity is good so she's going to age well um, but she does have to be careful about pigmentation because she's that fair type of skin means she'll pigment quite easily Water it down then, help it take off the skin. When you put on exfoliant, be careful because it's very hard to get it off. A little bit of water helps break it down because the minute you start to massage their skin, you're rubbing exfoliating polish into their skin. There, so I'm going to give it another wipe.
So extractions, fold the tissue into a triangle, fold it over your finger and bring, twist it back so you can hold it. Fold it over your finger, twist it back. And now I can hold on to it. So, to do extractions, if you pinch the skin, you're going to one cause scarring, and also as well as you're picking up the top, the remaining of the spacious gland gets uh, pressure put on it, and it squeezes its contents back into your dermis. So you're basically pushing the bacteria back down into your skin, which also causes scarring. So make sure when you're picking up. You're stretching the skin first and you're picking it up underneath and you wiggle. Okay, so as I'm squeezing, um, what I'm extracting looks more like yellow oil. So this, um, this speaks to me that it's product that's sitting on her skin. When it becomes blocked, that is more cleansing the skin. When it becomes blocked, the blackheads and they're blocked into the skin that means not enough cleaning or not enough exfoliating but when it's just comes out very easily and is more yellow that generally is product or the client could have excess excess excessive amounts of oil she's not that skin type so i don't think it's that Difficult enough to get out um, the blackheads, so that means dehydration. She needs to drink more water and to exfoliate more. Because when your skin is dehydrated, it oils onto the skin cells, so those pores become blocked. These are complexion renewal pads, so basically to help close the pores and clean out the skin. They're also antibacterial.
So as her skin is congested, what we are going to do is use direct high frequency. So this using a neon gas um, creates oxidization on the skin, which is able to be antibacterial and dries out and causes skin healing as well. So any of our breakouts will clear up, any bacteria in the area will clear and her skin will look lovely. sure she's not claustrophobic first. How does that feel? Is that okay? Okay, so high frequency we apply to the skin first because we don't want to give them a fright with the noise and the feeling and then we build up the intensity. So you can do this for a little while for antibacterial and then what you do is you do what's called sparking. So this is to concentrate on the areas of breakouts. You alright? Mm -hmm. Weird sensation. <laughs> so all we're doing is concentrating the energy on the breakouts. So they will clear up a lot quicker. So remember, it's creating oxygen in the skin cells. It's drying up the excess oil. It's anti-inflammatory. So it's just basically going to dry out these breakouts and cause them to heal a lot quicker.
now we're going to apply a mask for this um, is the Obagi Suffer Mask. It's amazing for closing pores, um, antibacterial, anti-inflammatory. It doesn't dry out the skin. So if you're having breakouts and you've dry skin, um, it's still amazing for it. After the mask comes off, you'll see the pores are more closed. So if you have someone who is suffering with dryness on their cheeks or sensitivity, you can do one mask on their cheeks and then another mask where their congestion is. So while her mask is on, um, the best thing to do is write up the programme. Sorry, I'm sorry. Can we shut that? Yeah. That's very good. Um, okay, so while her mask was on, well, the best thing to do is to sit down and write out a programme for her. So you would write out uh, her future treatment needs, um, what are products uh, that are required to use at home, because obviously that's the most important, and then you're going to speak to her about them afterwards. Um, also as well, it gives you a chance to keep the room clean, so you tidy up your bottles, you tidy up the area, give them a wipe down, and that means you can move on to your next client a lot easier as well. So also as well, what we're going to do for this client is, um, we're going to do a nice uh, neck and decollete uh, massage, because she's had... Um, problems with her back and um, a nice relaxing massage is always good for the client. So we'll do that while the mask is on because the mask needs to be on for 20 minutes. Now I used to work in the sanctuary in Covent Garden and I used to love giving massages to clients to have them make them feel better. Um, so it's lucky because I get to incorporate that into doing normal facial treatments now. So Obviously you're warming up the tissues um, and you're making sure that you're just doing nice slow movements. Uh, it is always shown to do each movement six times. Just give it a nice relaxing feel. Okay, and your next move is called knuckling. So you're using your knuckles to work into the tissue around the shoulder area. Obviously it gets very tight with your posture, hunching over, holding your shoulders with stress. So it's nice to work into your shoulders. The client loves this. And up the back of the neck as well. With treatments, you may change their skin but it's how you make them feel that really what is what they remember. So a nice relaxing massage will make them feel much better about themselves, much more relaxed, and they will remember that quicker than they will remember the pigmentation they had on the face or the lines they had on the forehead. Um, so it's nice to do these things even in aesthetics. And the next move I'm going to do is circles. So it's the same thing as knuckling as in you're kneading into the muscles. But this is a little bit lighter and it's just working over the area in large circles. 
and this is lovely just right behind the shoulder area. So normally we'd move up into the neck and move up into the face now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do a few extra bits on her shoulder and then we'll take off the mask. Do a flourage to finish and just a little pull on the back of 
her neck. And then we're going to take off the mask. So, because this is sulfur, there is a little slight bit of drying to it. So the best way to do it is dab it first, wetting it up before trying to wipe it off. Hydration serum. And the last thing on every facial you need to put is an exfoliant. 